Okay. All right. Um, I'm sure most people have probably heard about cold showers or cold aversion, all that stuff or whatever. Um, I've been taking cold showers for like two and a half months. Um, doing it for... And it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory, you know, it decreases the pain through of inflammation or whatever. That was my goal. That's the reason I started this. I did it once before, but that was because I lost my hot water heater and it took me about a month to replace it. Uh, and then it became summer and it was no, it was no longer, you were no longer able to get cold water because I have an exposed tank out here. So my water comes out of a well out of the ground, sits in a thousand gallon tank outside. It either cooks all summer or freezes all winter. And end of October, November got really cold. Um, but a couple things I know. They, they claim all kinds of stuff. If you take the cold showers or a cold, you know, dip into a tank or something like that. If you want to get real fancy. That does all this stuff. Um, I can't say I feel less pain. I do have less inflammation, I believe. Is it because of that? I don't know. It's not, it's not my diet because I've been eating terrible. Um... But something else I noticed is I have more energy, um, more than normal. And I mean, it was noticeable. I get, I'm getting a lot more done, just more energy. So I get up in the morning, have my coffee, go in, take a shower. Like towards the end of October, the water wouldn't dip below 40. Uh, I could get in there and just turn it on and keep my head under the water the whole time. And it was just cold. But more, as soon as we started getting close to November, it really got cold. And now it's actually a brain freeze. I go in there and I don't, I don't, some people get warm first and that, I think that's a terrible idea. I go in, I kick it on. It's just, but you get used to it. It's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, but it, for me right now, though it's cold, it's down to 38. I know because I measure it every time. I got a thing in there. It's cold water. The mornings are really cold. I'm afraid to measure that part. But uh, it's actually, I'll get a brain freeze out of it. I, I get my hand there for about 10 seconds, and then I'll back up and just kind of turn around a couple of times and make sure you're getting wet everywhere. Um, and people will say, well, how long are you in there? Well, I'm, I take my shower. Well, no, but how many minutes can you go? And I don't know what they're talking about. There's a bit, well, can you go six, can you hold in there for six minutes? I can hold in there all day, but I have to go to work. Once you go into a cold water situation like that, in my experience so far, you just go numb. Um, back when I lost my hot water heater, back before the pandemic, I would get in, get myself wet, and then immediately take the thing off the nozzle and get my thighs, tops of my thighs, real cold. My whole body would shut down and just and just um, adapt or something. I don't know what you'd call it, some... I don't know what you call it scientifically, but I would get my, my thighs cold and the rest of my body didn't matter. I could just take a shower and no big deal. For some reason, the thighs for me was big muscle mass or something. I don't know. Um, but once you're in it, you get past that cold shock, especially now because it's gone about two or three degrees colder. Um, in about 20 seconds, your body adjusts to it. It's cold, but it's no longer, you might be shivering. But I just take my shower, I get the bar soap and go to town, get cleaned up or whatever. I might be there five, six minutes. Um, but I'm done. I, I could stand there another 10. It's, oh, but how long can you go? It's not like that. It's once you're in there and your body adjusts to it. Now, what was even colder, I don't know. I don't know what would happen there. But it's not like people say, oh, man, I don't know how long you could stand there. Well, once you get past the shock, you can be in there all day. It's not a, it's not a, uh, but hopefully you have more to do. Um. But you can feel your body. That's why when I go in, I do. I get quick. Turn to hold that thing and just get it started. Just turn it on and get right in it. Because in about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, your body adjusts. And then you just take your shower. You're done. Um, so I'm not sure if these people are doing something different. Where they're, oh my gosh, it's, I'm in there 30 seconds. And then there's a minute. I'm trying to go. Tomorrow I'm going to go to two minutes. What are you talking about, dude? You should be numb. <laughs> 20 seconds, you go numb. You could... You know, shoot a foot off. You wouldn't notice it. You're just numb. <laughs> um, I know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But if for some reason you think this might be for you, I do feel like I have less inflammation going on. My joints feel better. 
uh, which is a big deal. 56, I'm all beat up. And I do notice I have a lot more energy. And I do believe it triggers your immune system to, to respond and be more, uh, more, you have a more potent, more powerful immune system. I believe that's true. If you're thinking of doing this, you can do it in your shower. Don't ease into it. What I would do is just go in there, turn it on, jump into it. If you could only do 10 seconds. And here's the thing. So we'll just go 10 seconds and jump back out. Well, if you stayed around for 12 or 13, you would go numb and you're already past that point. So don't, I would I would just go in there and hang in as long as you can. And if, hey, you know, seller said it would adapt by now. So now, well, then get out and then try it again the next day. I do one in the morning and one in the afternoon on my way to work. And, uh, and back in October, I was taking three showers a day because of the work that I do. I'm dirty all the time. Um, I haven't taken a warm shower in three months, two and a half, three months. Um, but if you're thinking about it, it might be worthwhile for you. I do have more energy. And it's not because of something else I'm doing because I've just been too busy to exercise, eating like crap, don't sleep for beans, drink too much coffee. I'm back to all my old tricks again. Um, <laughs> bad habits, but the cold shower things give me more energy. Maybe it'll work for you. Love you. God bless.